Hello and welcome to a drizzly, horrible day in the Perthshire Hills. Um, today I've just jumped in the car and decided I'm going to try and make yet another video. Um, the last few videos I've been trying to make have failed miserably, but hopefully today's video will actually be pretty good. Um, I found a little spot that I uh, completely forgot about it. I found it a few years ago and I always meant to come back to it but never got the chance or it just slipped my mind and I found it again so I'm going to be taking some landscape shots um, and hopefully you enjoy. Anyway, roll intro. So where I am, it's in the middle of bare ass nowhere in Perthshire and basically um, I want to concentrate on trying to shoot this quite deep valley just behind me. I don't know if you can actually see how beautiful it is behind me. But anyway, I'm going to be taking some shots here. I don't know if it's too windy to put the drone up and hopefully the storm that's looming over what I'm looking at, which you can see me, doesn't come in too quickly. Um, and I can make some interesting shots for you. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking drivel and get into showing you some pictures. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> I've come all the way down to the other end of the valley just to sort of see what it's like down here and it's a very different scene um, I'm going to show you what it looks like what I'm just about to shoot just behind me um, it looks very much just like a scenic meadow um, I don't know what I'm trying to say to be honest I'm just going to keep trying to take some nice pics but the landscape of just a mile or two is just completely changed and I need to stop putting myself into the dark when I'm speaking to camera. Anyway, here's some more shots. Right, I have a question for you guys. When you're shooting landscapes, do you always stay within the rule of thirds? And do you always shoot in landscape or do you shoot some landscapes in portrait mode? Um, I've started quite enjoying taking landscapes in portrait mode. I don't know why. Um, I guess it's just a, a different look to the pictures. Um, but yeah, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. And don't forget to please like, comment and subscribe. Okay, um, I've either just put up or I'm just away to put up some shots 
that were taken in the exact same spot, one landscape, one portrait, standing in the exact same spot. Can you tell me which one looks better? So yeah, that's me back from the Perthshire Hills. Um, it was good getting out today just just to get out and take some pictures. I didn't take a huge amount, um, but again, I just went out. I've been feeling down the past few weeks with mental health and stuff. As a few of the regular viewers know, I've got a few things wrong with me that need to get fixed out as soon as possible. Um, and I'll go into that later in the video. Um, but yeah, it was just good to get out and take some shots. Uh, towards towards the end of shooting, the weather did change very rapidly and the wind picked up even more. So as I said in the little snippet there, I had to land my drone due to strong winds and that's the first time I've ever had that. Uh, it's been up in quite blustery weather before, so that should give you an idea of how strong, strong the wind was getting. And the clouds were moving so fast that the, the rain front just came in super quick and just ended any chance of me getting any more shots. So I decided to call it a day and come home. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed the shots so far. I've, I've put, I think, most of them up on screen. If there's any left, I'll put them up on just after this. Um, I've not actually edited the photos yet. This is me just straight home and speaking to camera. So, yeah. It was an interesting day. I just took out the, the Fuji GFX 100S with the 45 to 100 mil. I didn't take the 45, took out my drone as well. Just went out, not planning on anything, just went out to see what I could get. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Um, what I might start doing is I'm going to start putting a, a link to a wee transfer download and I'm going to let you use the download the raw images um, to have a play about with them and see what you think um, of them. I think you being able to get the raw images to see what size the GFX files are will give you a better sort of experience and you can have a play about with them and that way if you wanted to send them back to me and show me your style of editing that could be interesting could open up another avenue of conversation. But anyway enough of me rambling um, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. As a lot of you do know, I say this in pretty much every video, um, please check yourself. Um, men and women, check for any lumps and bumps. And if there is any, go and get checked out by a doctor. Or if you're feeling unwell for a prolonged amount of time, go and get checked out by a doctor. There's nothing worse than getting bad news like I have. Um, and I don't, I don't wish that for anyone. So get yourself checked out. And also, if you want to support me, um, I do have a shop. There's always a discount on the shop. I'll put that at the bottom of the screen. You can buy some of my T-shirts or uh, one of my prints that are up for sale. And I'll put the discount code down just below and in the description. But yeah, um, I do have a line of apparel as well that helps support me through cancer. It's called Fuck Cancer. Um, there is the quite abrupt uncensored version and there is a censored version as well for those who don't want to offend too many people walking down the street but um, I'll stop talking now and I will end the video I just want to say thank you very much for watching take care and I'll see you in another video